good morning to everyone this is mintu pal here once again i will come back to all of you to my channel stream mechanical so today in this video i am going to solve a question that is related to the fe fe 3c phase diagram so in that questions i will be find out that the percentage of pro eutectoid cementite eutectoid cementite and the total cementite and also the amount of ferrite and also austenite okay so these are the points i will be clear through that questions and this is about me okay so let's go to that question okay so this is the question first carefully read the question that for an iron carbon alloy that contains one weight percentage of carbon so this part is very important here the percentage of carbon is provided then what we have to find out first the mass fraction of pro eutectoid cementite and austenite second question the mass fraction of total cementite and ferrite then this one will be three and then in the third question the mass fraction of eutectoid cementite okay before i solve the questions let me discuss something about these questions from the iron carbon diagram so you can see this is our fe fe 3c diagram okay so in this diagram one point you can see this point this point corresponding to the carbon percentage of 0.76 okay and this point is called the eutectoid point this point is called eutectoid point okay now the thing is that we know there is a three type of steel three type of steel one is hypo eutectoid hypo eutectoid steel one is eutectoid steel and third is hyper eutectoid steel okay and how basically we classify this three steel that is based on the carbon percentage for hypo eutectoid steel the carbon percentage is 0.7 less than whatever the carbon percentage let us c this would be less than 0.76 for eutectoid this c will be equal to 0.76 and for hyper eutectoid steel this c will be value greater than 0.76 okay now if we take a look here this is my point okay 0.76 so corresponding to this point we have a eutectoid steel if we talk about the zone that is left hand side of this point this is hyper eutectoid steel and the right hand side zone up to some point that is called the hyper eutectoid steel now if i carefully read the questions we have the carbon percentage one percent so carbon percentage is one percentage that means this is greater than 0.76 percentage obviously means whatever the given steel that the given steel is our given steel is hyper eutectoid steel this thing first you have to understand okay the given steel is hyper eutectoid steel let's once again go to the diagram so this much is clear that we are going to deal something here beyond after this point 0.76 now carbon percentage is one means this is so let me draw a approximate line that contains the carbon percentage one so let's say this is the okay now let's say this is the one point this is the another point and this one is the other point here we have gamma that is called austenite here we have gamma plus fe3c now you can see one thing this line is called the eutectoid temperature line correct eutectoid temperature line or also you can say a1 line so this eutectoid temperature line whatever the fe3c produced this fe3c produced 
before this eutectoid temperature line that's why this fe3 is called pro pro eutectoid pro eutectoid fe3 c or cementite okay whatever this fe3 c is called pro eutectoid cementite now here we have alpha plus fe3 c correct you can see so in this alpha and fe3 c this fe3 c actually total fe3 c okay this is total fe3 c total fe3 c means it has this pro eutectoid cementite i'm representing like this plus eutectoid cementite i'm representing like this so this total fe3c contains pro eutectoid plus eutectoid this much is clear first we are identify that in which zone we are we are in hyper eutectoid or in hypo eutectoid or in eutectoid so our given carbon percentage is one so we are in hyper eutectoid zone so in case of hyper eutectoid zone these have a microstructure evolution takes place during cooling okay during cooling first there will be gamma from gamma gamma plus fe3c and this fe3c is called pro eutectoid fe3c and the reason i explain because the fe3c that occur above the eutectoid line that is called pro eutectoid now next whatever the fe3c here this fe3c actually total fe3c this total fe3c means pro eutectoid fe3c that occur here and the eutectoid fe3c okay i hope now the microstructure evolution is clear now go to the question first mass fraction of pro eutectoid cementite and austenite now see mass fraction of pro eutectoid cementite means first we are talking about this thing this much is clear we are talking about this thing this pro eutectoid cementite and gamma and we know okay this is the question one in case of finding out the mass fraction we have to take the help of lever rule for lever rule we have to draw a horizontal line in such a way a horizontal line in such a way that the end of that horizontal line touch the pure face for which we want to find out the fraction of mass or the mass fraction so here we have gamma plus pro eutectoid cementite i want to find out the fraction of gamma and fraction of fe3c so i have to draw a horizontal line in such a way that the both end of this line touch the pure gamma face and another will touch the pure fe3c we can see this is one point here we have pure gamma here we have pure fe3c so to solve the question number one we have here pure gamma for pure gamma point 76 you can see pure gamma 0.76 and for pure fe3c we have 6.7 but our question is related to one percentage of carbon this side we have fe3c and this side we have gamma now let's solve one by one we know how to take the help of liver rule to find out the mass fraction let's say first percentage of not percentage is called a fraction okay fraction of let's say gamma how to find out the fraction of gamma we know when you are talking about the fraction of gamma we have to take the opposite length means from here to here from here to here here to here opposite length is 6.7 minus 1 by total length from here to here 6.7 minus 0.76 let me calculate this you also calculate the value along with me 6.7 minus 1 divided by 6.7 minus 0.76 so i get this value around 0.9596 this is the fraction of gamma in this condition next the fraction of pro eutectoid cementite pro eutectoid cementite you can add, indicate it like this pro eutectoid cementite one thing you can do we have total fraction is one now 
or let's say in this condition we have gamma plus Fe3C. Okay, so gamma is this much percentage. One thing you can do 1 minus this 0 0.9596 or if you want you can find out from the liver rule also. How total you want to find out the Fe3C. So the opposite length means this length 1 minus 0 0.76 by total length that is 6.7 minus 0.76. Now you again calculate this value 1 minus 0.76 divided by 6.7 minus 0.76. So if I calculate this I am getting around 0 0.404. This is the 0. Point, okay sorry this will be 0. Point 0404 okay now it's correct yes so these are the fraction of gamma and fraction of pro eutectoid cementite this is this is indicating pro eutectoid cementite okay and why i'm saying it's pro eutectoid i hope this question is clear this point is clear now go to the second question mass fraction of total cementite and ferrite it once again comes to here total amount of cementite and ferrite what i told you here we have alpha plus fe3c you can see here here we have alpha plus fe3c but this fe3c is total fe3c total that have contain fe3c pro eutectoid fe3c plus eutectoid fe3c okay so we have to find out this fe3c and alpha so now we are in this zone so in this zone if i want to draw a horizontal line as per the liver rule then i have to draw a line in such a way that will contain one end will touch the pure face of alpha another end will touch the pure face of fe3c so we can see here we have pure phase of alpha because this zone is alpha now. So this is the one point. This is the one point. This one is the one point. And this one is the another point. So here we have Fe3C. Here we have pure alpha. So for the next question two, if I want to draw the horizontal line for the use of liver rule here we have 0 0.022 that is corresponding to alpha here we have corresponding to a fe3c 6.7 and we have one percentage of carbon for the alloy so now again fraction of fraction of let's say first alpha so how to find out the alpha now you say if we're talking about the alpha then the opposite distance that is 6.7 minus 1 by the full distance 6.7 minus 0 0.022. Now you calculate this value 6.7 minus 1 divided by 6.7 minus 0 0.022. Okay, it is around 0 0.8. 535 five. this is the fraction of alpha what is the fraction of fraction of fe3c and this fe3c is what total fe3c you can do one thing 1 minus 0.8535 or you can use the liver rule also you want to find out the fe3c so the opposite length means this length 1 minus 0 0.022 by total length is 6.7 minus 0 0.022 if you calculate this value you will get 1 minus 0 0.022 divided by 6.7 minus 0 0.022 you are getting around 0 0.1465 Okay, let me check once again. Yes, 0 0.1465. This is the fraction of 
total cementite so now this one is also clear now let's go to the third question the mass fraction of eutectoid cementite this eutectoid cementite means what once again i'm writing fe3c total fe3c pro plus fe3c eutectoid so we find out this value also we found this value now we have to find this value so what we can do simply fe3c eutectoid is equal to my total fe3c minus my pro eutectoid fe3c yes or no so now let's just take the value whatever already we find out we have pro eutectoid is 0 0.0404 okay so if i write it here only let me change the color this is for third so we have total this much 0 0.1465 this is in terms of fraction then also we find out the pro eutectoid pro eutectoid value we find out 0 0.0404 0 0.0404 now we have to find out fe3c eutectoid this eutectoid is already we derive that fe3c total minus fe3c pro eutectoid that is 0 0.1465 0 0.0404 now you please calculate this value 0 0.1465 minus 0 0.040 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.0404 and i'm getting the value around 0 0.1061 so this is the answer for third question okay so i hope the basic thing is clear okay so what are the step let me write down that what are the step we need to follow for this kind of question okay first you have to identify that what is my carbon percentage what is my carbon weight percentage okay when you are identify the carbon weight percentage then you can identify i'm talking about hypo eutectoid or hyper eutectoid or eutectoid okay when these one will be clear then you should know that for this kind of steel what is the microstructure evolution okay evolution what is the microstructure evolution for this particular hypo or hyper or eutectoid and when you know the microstructure evolution then you have to understand that the how to use the liver rule for that particular zone means what they ask in question how to use the liver rule to find out that question so in this question this thing i tried to solve how you can find out this pro eutectide cementite austenite or total cementite ferrite and eutectide cementite and the main agenda to provide you an idea about the difference between this pro eutectide cementite total cementite and eutectide cementite i hope this question you find helpful for you so this much in this video only okay thank you so much